chapter number five and about verse nine to verse 11 verse 12 revelation chapter number five verse nine to verse 12 and they sang a new song saying you are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seals for you were slain and have redeemed us to god by your blood somebody say by your blood somebody say by your blood somebody say by your blood you have redeemed us to god by your blood our by your blood out of every tribe and every tongue and the p and people and nations i'm reading from the king james version and have made us kings and priests to our god somebody say i've made us and made us kings, kings. and priests Priest. to our god. god and we shall reign on the earth somebody say i shall reign, I shall reign. On, the on the earth oh child say it with passion say i shall reign, I shall reign on, the on the earth verse 10 and made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the head. 11. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, and living creatures, and the elders, and the numbers of them was 10,000 times 10,000, and 10,000 of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Somebody say, say with a loud voice. Say with a loud voice. I want us to read verse 11 together with power. If you can be on our feet together, I would really appreciate it. Let's be on our feet to read verse 12 together as a church. And say with a loud voice. Somebody say with a loud voice. With a loud voice. So one, two, go. Let's read it. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive what? To receive what? Power. Somebody say power. Power. Somebody shall power. Power. He said, "What did to receive power and what? Riches. Oh, someone, come on, somebody. This is the word of God. Read it with excitement and what? Riches. Somebody say riches. Riches. And what? And what? And what? Wisdom. And what? Wisdom. And what? Wisdom. And what? Somebody say blessings. Bless. Somebody say blessing. Bless Somebody say power. power. Somebody shall glory. glory. Somebody shall wisdom. wisdom. Shall strength. strength. And shall blessing. blessing. Look at your neighbor like you are hungry with your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Overcome. Overcome. Barriers. Barriers. To victorious living. To victorious living. That is what I'm going to preach. That's what I'm going to talk about. Overcoming barriers to victorious living. <laughs> Somebody say power. Power. Somebody say power. Power. I love that aspect. Americans say power. Mm -hmm. But Africans say power. We say power. <laughs> he said, Worthy is the lamb that was slain for me to receive power, to exercise power over the powers of darkness isn't that a beautiful privilege that jesus was slain for me to be empowered to dominate over circumstances of life what is the lamb that was slain for me to receive glory to receive honor oh come on church you're not getting to receive wisdom and to receive blessing <laughs> my God, my God, come and take your seat for a minute. It is very important for you to understand that God is utmost desire for your life and my life is to live a victorious life. Somebody say victorious life. Victorious life. You got to understand that God's utmost desire for you is to live a victorious life. In other words, God had ordained you before the foundation of the earth to be a victor over circumstances. You have not been ordained to be a victim of circumstances. You have been ordained from the foundations of the earth. Jesus' blood was not shed in vain. Jesus' blood did not just flow on gun gutter just for flowing sake. 
but Jesus from the foundations of the earth Bible declares in the beginning when man was created Bible said and God blessed them and the word blessing them means God empowered them to succeed you are empowered from the foundations where you were born to succeed and to have dominion mm. over the circumstances of life yes. the Bible said and declares you shall be the head and not the tail the Bible said you will learn to nation and not be a borrower the Bible declares in his word he said I am more than a conqueror the Bible go further to call me an, an ambassador of Christ. The Bible said that greater is Jesus that liveth in you than the devil that lives in the world. The Bible declares that Christ in me is the hope of glory. And the Bible declares in Matthew chapter 5, yes. sir. The Bible declares ye are the light of the world and you are the salt of the earth. You have been on to be a victor to live a victorious life and not to be a victim of sickness you are not ordained to be a victim of setback you are not ordained to be a victim of retrogressions and curses you have been ordained to rule and to take dominions you have been ordained as a king and a priest the one that legislates the one that command and decree a thing and it must be established and one thing I have noticed about salt, the Bible declares you are the salt of the earth. One thing I've noticed about salt, when you put salt in your food, you feel the presence of salt. When you take salt out of the food, you feel the absence of salt. So as a child of God, I strongly believe that your presence and your absence must be fed wherever you are. As a child of God, and that is why I want to say celebrate all the pastors and the pastor servants this morning because God has given us a man that his presence and his absence is always fed wherever he goes he talks about Jesus wherever he finds himself he makes sure he impacts lives and one thing about salt I have realized salt preserved salt covers things salt preserve and to preserve means also to cover so in this appreciation day God has given us a covering calling the spiritual fathers of this house you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world am I speaking to somebody this morning yes. and one thing about life I have discovered that many are living a life that is not victorious many are finding difficult in living a victorious life and if you fall in that category i believe my today's message is totally for you ah. it's for you god have sent me by the grace of election by the mandate of ordination to speak to somebody today that after today's service wherever you find yourself wherever you train your feet you shall claim it for jesus Amen. wherever you find yourself you shall be the head and yes. not the tail yes. Wherever you go back home, you will look at the devil, eyeball to eyeball, ah. and tell the devil, I am taking my place. You will tell the devil, no more at my watch. You got me long enough. It is my time to exercise my rulership as a king and as a priest unto the living God. And because of this, I have come to expose. <laughs> I have come to expose some enemy the devil has strategically placed on your way in order to stop you from living a victorious life. From living a victorious life because the scripture we read opens our eyes to know the benefit of redemption. The scripture we read gave us the clue of what Jesus did by shedding his blood the bible said what did is the lamb of god god it is jesus that redeemed us unto our god he redeems us from anything from our background and he put us onto our god and bible declares now we have become the king 
kings and the priests. No wonder the Bible said is the king of kings because we are all kings and it is our kings. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible declares and said this Jesus was slain for you to have power. He was slain for you to have wisdom, for you to have strength, for you to have knowledge, for you to have glory, for you to have honor and blessing. If I have to preach a message based on this another time, I will call him the benefit of redemption. The seven benefits of redemption because if you don't know the reason for a thing being given to you, is either you don't use it or is it that you abuse it. And the word abuse simply means to abnormally used. And many of us are not taking the advantage of what Jesus had given unto us. May I submit to you that Christianity is not a nickname. 